All right, so I'm going to go ahead and create a family and put this in the family and repeat it and show you um, then in another video how we can rotate it. So I'm going to go to File and New Family. And I'll just go to English Imperial, I'll go to Conceptual Mass, and I'm going to create a new generic model adaptive. You can get your generic model adaptive from this English Imperial family. There's a generic model adaptive. I have one that I've made for myself that kind of lives here. So I'm going to do this guy. I'm going to open that guy up. And this is going to categorize this family as a generic model as well. And we could do it as a mass, but um, we've been working with masses and so it would make it more difficult to hide it in the project. So what you want to do here is you want to set up um, a couple of lines and divide them, but I also want to make some vertical um, divisions as well. So first we'll just do two lines and then I'll show you how you can do sort of a series of these guys. So I'm going to go to my front elevation and I'm going to come in, zoom in a little bit, and I'm going to create a reference plane. So if you go to create, um, there's plane right and RP is a shortcut so I'm just going to come in here and draw a line horizontally and I'm going to name it RP1 right <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and create a few more and we'll sort of see how that works so I'll just pick this guy and I'm just going to go to copy and I'll go to multiple and I'm going to come in and just put a few more of these guys in so and then I'm going to rename those so see how it's renaming them to RP2, RP3 and RP4 because I named that one first RP1. If you need to rename them you can just click on these guys right here and it'll allow you to rename it. And then what I'm going to do is <clears throat> go ahead and set up um, a dimension string that will control the distances between these. So if I go to create a line dimension I'm just going to left click, left click, left click, left click, and left click, and then click on nothing, and you'll get a little EQ, and it'll equal all those out. And I'm just going to come down here and change this to like six inches equals a foot, so those get a little smaller. All right, I'll move those in, and then I'll create another one that goes from the bottom to the top, and that's going to be our height. So that has a distance right now of four feet. I'm just going to pick this and put a new parameter on it and I'm going to name it height overall and click OK. And now what I can do is I can come into my family parameter type parameters here and you'll see that I have that height overall and I can come in and, and if I wanted each of these to be you know four feet or three feet I can come in and adjust this. So if I put in 12 feet and hit apply right now that whole thing is 12 feet and if you divide that by four obviously this would be three feet, right, if I go vertically. Um, these planes, you can pull them out further if you want to, but they're actually infinite, and this notation is just um, showing a distance here. So once I do that, I can go to my reference level, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a line on the level one, on the base level, that is reminiscent of what you're doing. So I'm just going to go to reference, I'm going to create a line, and I'll just come in here and I'll just start 10 foot on the side of this and I'll just make it 20 feet long. And then I'm just going to make it 10 feet tall. And then hit escape a couple of times to stop that. And then I want to uh, fill it right here. I want an arc. And so I'm going to, there's a fillet arc command here and I'm going to click on it. And I'm going to set the radius just to five feet for this one. So I'll set it to five feet. And then <clears throat> It's not picking the lines because I need it to be the same type of line that I created, which is reference. So I have to do it again. I'll go to here and you'll see that it's set already to five feet because I did that. And then I can come in and pick these two and it'll just radius those at five feet. And if I hit escape a couple of times, go to my 3D view, you'll see I've got that guy on the base level. Now what I can do is I can go to reference and pick line and instead of having this placement plane set at level reference, I can pick RP1. And then if I hover over those lines and tap the tab key, you'll see the blue line appear on RP1, right? And it'll make two lines. So now I have two lines, one 
above the other. And I'm going to just do a crossing, or actually I'll just pick this one and hold down the control key and pick that one. And there's a divide path here. So I'm going to divide that. And it's going to divide it automatically into six. And I want to put a parameter on there that I can control the number of divisions. Um, and so if I come in and click on this guy, I can set this to the divide and click OK and click OK. And now I have a divide parameter that I can also access through my family types dialog box and I can set that to 20 and apply and it'll change both of those. Now what I can do is I can come in and pick, uh, load my adaptive component family we talked about last time and repeat it. So I'll close my hidden windows, I'll go back to my adaptive component family and I'll load this into project. So it loads it in here and I can come in and left click on these nodes and it will place it on those nodes. And it's very important that it gets placed on the nodes. And then I can pick this guy and a repeat should come up. And I can repeat it and it'll just copy itself around this guy. Okay, um, so now that we've gotten to that point, I'll stop it and then the next thing we'll do is go in and control the rotation.